everyone welcome to my channel today I will show you how I created this French mini see you soon all right let's get started today I'm using bio seaweed gel uh, watermelon uh, and I'm also using my rebel nail the powder AC 22 it's from the advent calendar so I'm gonna show you how to do this with gel and with um, with uh, dip liquids. Uh, so first I'm gonna do my favorite one, the gel. Um, I already started my nails with Erica and I put um, uh, a gel top coat over it. Here we go, so I am gonna start now. Um, I've learned from my mistakes. I won't be doing this on my right hand again. It was really hard because uh, I'm not used to using my right heart my right hand so it was a lot harder to do than my left but I got it <laughs> especially with gel it's so much easier so first I'm gonna start with my gel base coat okay you gotta do a thin thin layer I'm using a rebel all right there you go so then I just put my my finger to the side just dip it in gently there we go and then you could do the other side oh wait no i'm gonna do the side again okay just until i get the color i want then i go again onto the other side gentle put it in there you go and you just repeat this process over and over until you get the results you like. And if you don't like it, what's great about the gel is that you could just remove it uh, very easily and then start it over. But um, yeah, here we go. So I just do a couple coats of this, so I'm going to cure it. All right, so I cured for 60 seconds. I like it to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to do another coat of gel base, and then I'm going to dip it again um, on each side, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm liking the way it looks, so I'm going to cure the base coat, and then I'm going to apply my top coat. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to do it with dip liquids. Not my favorite method, I admit, but I might as well show you how to do both uh, since we're here. Um, here we go. So, don't pay attention to my cuticles. <laughs> I don't like to use this hand. All right, so I'm going to do one thin coat of my Tenextina base. And you have to work really fast. And there you go. Just do the same thing as you did before with the gel. Uh, just put your finger to the side and dip it in. And then you do the same thing on the other side for the green. And then you encapsulate. Uh, after you do that a couple times. Okay, then you have to encapsulate with clear, which I'm doing right now. Normally, I don't dip my finger in, and I just sprinkle it on. I was going really fast, <laughs> and I did it this way for, just to show you. And there we go. I'm going to put it onto the side. I use my... I'm doing it again another, another time. I'm going to go... I find it's... I don't know... I don't like with with the dip liquids because I find I always make the the lines thicker. I don't know why I always make it thicker with the dip liquids. 
I find it's, it looks thicker with the dip liquids than with the gel. But we could always buff it down too afterwards, which is great. <laughs> which I usually do. I buff I buff a lot after that. Um, there we go. So it's, you do the same thing uh, until you get the color that you like. The pink and the green. I just love this design. I had to think about something different uh, for the watermelon collaboration. Oh, there we go. And that you sprinkle it with clear. I, I like it better this way <laughs> because you don't get any uh, powders inside the clear. And then you dust it off and I love, I love the results. I love the way it looks. Okay, yeah. So, like I was saying, I love. I had to do something different for the watermelon collaboration, because I did the stamping already for the Jules Mini Challenge. So I want to do something different, and I think this is cute, with the green and the pink. I know there are many different ways to do this. You could do this with um, stamping. You can do it with uh, gel uh, pens um, with the nail art. Uh, you could do it with uh, acrylic pens. Uh, you can do it many different ways with color blocking. I'm not very good at color blocking yet. I'm still practicing. I'll be there someday. <laughs> For now, I'm watching lots of tutorials. I'll get there. But uh, I'm, li I'm liking the way this is looking. Um, there we go. So I encapsulated with clear. There we go. I caps it with clear because I know I'll have to buff uh, a lot. So here I just did one. And usually I do two, to uh, two coats of clear. And then I buff away. <laughs> now I'm going to do my number two, the cure activator. Because I'm going to need to buff a lot and file the sides on this one. I activated, I wiped, and I applied my uh, 10x Tina top coat. There we go. And you get to go slowly for the second coat. And that is it. I hope you like it. These are the final results. So the middle finger was done with gel. And the ring finger was done with uh, dip liquids. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.